We are fired up in this hour to bring you just an absolute embarrassment of radio riches. I must have looked banged up when I walked into Fox this morning because they really did stack the deck on this show. They were like, there's no way he's getting through this thing on his own. Must have had a late night at the comedy club. I don't know what kind of vibe I was giving off in the lobby when I saw the executives this morning. But in this hour, uh, not only will we be joined by Shannon Bream, the host of Fox News Sunday, but batting leadoff, when you talk about the pride of the fleet, did I read that right? You wrote it down. I'm kidding. Uh, the host of the story, the great Martha McCallum, is here, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> great to see you. Great. Um, Hello, no, no, we, we, we butter people up. If Does it comes, call you James? So here's the thing, okay? On my taxi license, I was a James. Uh-huh. That's the only time I would ever get called James, because James, I, I believe, sounds like a more esteemed driver. Like, James sounds like he knows where he's going. It sounds like the chauffeur. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that, <laughs> It sounds like you don't have a last name. You just, right. you just say James on there. Jimmy sounds like he might have been an off-track betting an hour ago. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Jimmy, probably. Jimmy's driving like he's being chased, you know? <laughs> James is a little more dignity to that. And so, yes, to answer your question, you would get the occasional James. But outside of that, I actually don't get a lot of that, which is unfortunate. I think I'm going to call you James. I think one. you should go with it. I think I am. I think two I just things. Had the, I just had this gut sort of, like, Gee, I wonder if anyone calls him James. No, no, you could you could make that your thing for 2024. Me. Class me up, because here's the other thing. is like You could just slap like a British accent on anybody and make them 50 IQ points smarter. So 100%. I'm, if I or sw- more handsome. Yes, yes, you anything. Know? I mean, you can be, yeah, I, I think it does work a little bit the other way around for British people. They're yeah. very, they love a good American accent, mm-hmm. but uh, absolutely. This is a good, like, extreme makeover. It's like, pimp my pundit. Yeah. How do we fix this guy? Well, we give him a more formal name and he's British James, now. And we're going to also work on your British <laughs> I, accent. And uh, before you know it, I love you're this. going to have a whole new aspect to yourself. This is why you book Martha McCallum on the show. There's so much more <laughs> than news than analysis. I'm a whole new person in 2024. It's a big deal. James. Well. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I know the McCallums are fired up. Let me ask you this, okay? It's a conversation I recently had with none other than Nikki Haley, okay? Mm-hmm. Nikki Who's Haley. Who's on my show today. Of course. Okay, Famous so there you go. Famous plug, of course. You got to watch the story. It's in, in our house, It's we watch it twice. We watch it live, of course. We DVR <laughs> it. Um, but the That's truth, but the truth is, Nikki Haley, and she confessed to this the last time I had her on. Mm-hmm. I was hosting the Saturday Night Show. And, you know, this kind of heavy-hitting journalism I subject my guests to is I asked her if she had ever done a keg stand. And she, I actually saw this. Yes. Oh, okay. There you yes. go. You watched this. I did. Hold on a second. You, you, she said yes. You doubled my ratings. Can we just discuss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a second viewer. Jenny. I, I did see this, and she said yes. Thank you. And I, I believe, okay, that that is like worth a point in the polls. I, I You get street cred for a keg stand in this day and age. I, I don't want to know that she'd you be know, doing I've one in the office. You know, I've never done a keg stand. They were and, kind of a, yeah. But this, this does not take away from my – I have done – Funnels. Fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's what when I was in college. Yeah, you, that you, you was funnel the beer. You do yeah. the funnel, the big plastic mm-hmm. funnel, and the long tube, uh-huh. and it. Yeah. But so does that count? No. It's if you funnel the beer, as, shotgun to beer, it's just yeah, right there with a keg absolutely. stand. You don't get <laughs> quite the same visual. But if we were going to talk about street cred in the movie Old School, yep. he's funneling beer. So if I'm James, you're Frank the Tank. Exactly. <laughs> and, yes. And I'm very old school anyway. So yes, funnels, <clears throat> shotguns, no no keg stand. But I was really impressed when Nikki said that. Thank you. Yeah. I, I admired the candor. And did, did you ask her if there were pictures? I did. But that was we had this discussion yeah. offline. I don't believe there are. But she talked pretty candidly about her love of Def Leppard. Yes. Keg stands. She went to Clemson, so by law, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. It's, yeah. it's in the admissions office. They actually <laughs> they look at your SATs and they're like, "All right, get upside down." Exactly. You want to go to this school exactly. or what? <laughs> That's what happens, Martha. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, we're talking about the GOP primary field. Uh, it is my understanding. I'm going to run this by Shannon Bream later too. She knows things as well. Uh, that out in Colorado, if they're trying to take Trump off the ballot, the party could convert to a caucus, and then it doesn't matter. So we're basically watching. You know, a lot of weird legal maneuvering. You know and, what, Jimmy? We uh, knew that 2024 was going to get really weird. Yeah, and yeah. I think this is just the beginning of it. And as Jonathan Turley said last night, you know, there's enough tension in the country. It's a powder keg as it is. Yeah. And it feels like justice departments around the country just keep throwing matches at yeah. it. Yeah. This is uh, an extraordinary move. And yeah. I think that regardless of your politics, unless you're just a sheer Trump hater, mm-hmm. 
in which case you might be wrong because I think this is probably going to backfire like yeah. every single indictment in terms of his popularity. But most people feel weird about this. Yeah. Something feels really not right about taking someone off the ballot. Anybody who wants to run for president should be able to run for president in the United States of that, America. That's a great point. We're talking to the great Martha McCallum, and it's it's the way they're doing it because it's obviously unprecedented in nature, but they're also telling us that it's justified because of a crime he's not being charged with. And they're saying we're doing this in the name of protecting democracy. So and the only way to protect democracy is to violate the tenets of democracy. Imagine me coming to the, McCall, the McCallum House and being like, listen, we have an arson problem. So in order to protect you from the arsonist, we're going to burn it down ourselves. Oh, thank you. It's the same thing, yeah, though. exactly. It's like, what's I know. Matter? It's a seven-panel judge, a seven-judge yeah. panel. Three of them uh, voted against this, mm-hmm. and they're, they're all democratically appointed. So the, I think that shows you right there the yeah. kind of imbalance with how people feel looking at this thinking, I don't know, something about this just doesn't – it just doesn't sit right. Yeah. And it's um, – you know, you should – you have to give people the right to vote. Yep. That, that, that's the way – it's not – it's yeah. very un-American. We're, it's a weird season. You know, we had a writer's strike in America this year, and I think the writers are back now, mm-hmm. and they're really overcompensating. <laughs> with this, 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 they're the, writing some really crazy yeah. plot twists. They're like, how about this? <laughs> You're watching the I'm trailer. I've been home for several months. I'm thinking, why don't we take him off the ballot in a few states? <laughs> as, we, as we head into 2024, the trailer, as we head into the holidays for what's going to 2024 is going to look like is bananas. It really yes. is crazy between the election and everything else. So I will ask you this in an effort to downshift. Um, I would imagine the McCallums are pretty pro-Christmas. Um, do you guys, in my family, it's we're a big food family. And to be honest with you, my family doesn't drink as much as they should. Like I know they need, they actually think they need to drink more. Okay, yeah. they eat a lot. But are, 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 the, are the McCallums pro-party? Do you guys get pretty rowdy? Oh, we are absolutely pro-party. We're pro-caroling. <laughs> oh, we, thank we you. We do a lot of singing. We do a lot of eating. We do a fair amount of drinking. We mm. are very big Christmas people. And the thing I love the most is for my kids' friends to yeah. all come over and, you know, get dressed up and hang out and Christmas oh, carol great. and dance and all kinds of stuff. I'm a very, very big Christmas I love that. celebration person. I love that so much. That's what I grew up around. And what I say to the listeners every day is something that gets lost on us because politics can be so contentious is we're all in the fun business in life. No matter what it says on your business card, if you die tomorrow, you're going to wish you had more fun today. So I tell people that every day. If you get out of bed with the mindset that your job description is the fun business, you might have to go to a different job, but you can have fun doing it. And I think a lot of people miss the boat on that. And I I don't know. I I thankfully haven't because I was raised in that other environment. But the reason I bring it up is because I think it speaks to something. It's a term, you know, you hear a lot about like privilege and white privilege and all that stuff. I think there's one privilege that matters. I think there's such a thing as family privilege. I think if you come from a good, fun family that models excellence and ambition, you know, and empathy, I think if you come from that, you have a good relationship with your family, you win. And I think that's something the holidays really give you a chance to celebrate more than anything. Uh, so that's what I'm most excited about. As, as reserved as that sounds for me, like you would think I'm running like a gambling ring at a dog track, but I know that's my accent, but it's not my vibe, Martha. We're just going to, you know, we're do a little family stuff. You know, I, I totally agree. Last night, um, my daughter and I had planned to make some cookies when I got home. By the time I got home... I was tired. It had been a really long day. I was like, do we really want a cookie today? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, we're going to cookie today. So, yes, I'm up <laughs> until 11 o'clock putting away the, you know, they're my favorite, the peanut butter ones, and oh, you yeah. smush the chocolate kiss on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what other cookie do we need? No, we can it's talk. It's the about- best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I never understand, like, why there's another kind of cookie, except for maybe chocolate chip, which uh- is also... Uh, indispensable. You, the thing, you know what's so funny about the versatility of the chocolate chip is that it still manages to make its way onto every Christmas cookie exactly. platter. Exactly, exactly. You got the star, you got the I bell. I know, there's always going to be a chocolate chip it, hanging you know back they, there you know with a little tr- bit of like pink yeah, dust from say, the other cookies. You know what they try, well that's what they try to do. <laughs> People try to dress up the chocolate chip because they want to make it look like it's seasonal. Yeah. But at your core, we're all wired to run on chocolate chips. Exactly. No, I, I see you with the powdered sugar on the chocolate chip. It's the only way yeah, you yeah. Save it, serve it that it's way the whole year. The Corner. Absolutely. Uh, there it is. Whoever's going to win this thing in 2024, make America chocolate chip again. Exactly. If we can get there, it's this country campaign. has a shot, Martha McCallum. <laughs> and that's why you have Martha McCallum batting lead off on the show. More uh, of our attempts to opiate the masses with our wit and wisdom when we come back right here on the high flying, death defying Fox Across America.